Hey everybody, Bill Inelli, Inelli & Associates Real Estate. Had a few requests to do some downtown Prescott tours of the area and I'm at the Palace Bar and this is really awesome. So come down here if you're in Prescott and check out the history. The Palace Bar was originally built in the mid 1800s and there was a fire in 1900. They drug out the bar saved it, which is over there, the miners did, brought it back in, rebuilt the place up, a lot of it still stands, look at the ceilings, and they brought it back now, the new owners have brought it back to a lot of its original condition, I've spent many a day in here, in my 20s and 30s. I'm glad these walls can't talk, tell you what. So this was a place for the miners, there was gambling, there was prostitution back in the day. Here's some stuff, some gold panning, photos from the old days, the old mines. Unbelievable history. Really cool. Kind of hard for me to film, but they were gracious enough to let me in here. Uh, one of the big deals, if you ever get a chance to watch Junior Bonner with Steve McQueen, they rerun it all the time. That was filmed in Prescott, and Steve McQueen and Ida Lupino, Ben Johnson, they all hung out here. There's the poster for it up on that wall. And uh, they have live band at night and dinner. Great food here if you get a chance. There's the band set up there. When I came here in the 70s and 80s, there was a band where that flag is. There was a bandstand and the groups would come down up here. Is that Taylor Swift? Yeah, Taylor Swift playing tonight? The band would come down the stairs and then uh, mingle with the crowd and they had a bandstand up there. I saw the Bellamy Brothers here, Marshall Tucker Band, Clint Black, Vince Gill, on and on and on. Big groups came through here before they, somewhere after they made it big, some not. So they used to have a lot of people come through here. I used to stand right over in that corner and watch them all. Really a cool place, so. Just wanted to give you a little tour of it. There's a restaurant in the front. Get a shot of that. And some of memorabilia here. Here's the gambling stuff. The roulette. There's the poker chips. Look at this stuff. Crap table. Uh, unbelievable. There was a big gambling and prostitution, and there was opium den down below. There was a large uh, Chinese population that was working on the railroads back in the day. One of its frequent patrons that used to come here a lot, I remember this, was Barry Goldwater. Remember BG, huh? Barry used to come in here. This is one of his favorite places. Also Prescott Frontier Days, circa 1926. World's oldest rodeo. There's pictures on the wall. I'll show you who else was big fans of this place here in a minute. You might have heard of this guy up here. You heard of Virgil Earp and his brother Wyatt Earp. Yeah, they came in here. There it is. There's the beautiful bar. Check this out. Look at that. That's what they saved during the fire in 1900 and drug it outside. And it sat this way and then a guy that I grew up with, his daughter, his name was Shell Dunbar in the 50s. He shot his fourth wife in here. Said, honey, I still love you. And they came outside. He was arrested and fined $5,000 and later on had that wife by his side with his arm around her. So that was a little folklore. Check it out. Come into the old saloon, walk outside after a 
nice meal and head out to Prescott and Whiskey Row. Again, here's some of the patrons when you walk in. Big Nose Kate, look her up. Look at this guy up, you might have heard of him. Doc Holliday, Wyatt Earp, and Virgil. They were all here. 1877, United States Department of Interior, 1901. Nice tribute also to the Granite Mountain 19 up on the wall. 19 firefighters that perished protecting us here in Prescott up uh, in Yarnell. Horrible tragedy and we never forget that day. So check it out. Here's the downstairs where the, uh, I can't get down there now. They won't let you down here. But uh, that's where all the uh, fun was down there. I've been down there when I was a kid. My dad's been down there. There are underground tunnels connecting this bar and Matt's next door to a lot of areas. There was rumors that it connected across to the courthouse so the judges right over here could, and attorneys would come over here and have a nip during their lunch hour for the underground tunnels, but that is a rumor and has remained to be proven. So if you're in the area, there's also an upstairs to the palace too, uh, up there. People go up there and drink. There's a bar upstairs as well. I just can't get in there today. They're really busy and they were kind enough to let me go through it just to give you a little glimpse of the palace bar and a little bit of the history and background. So if you're ever up this way, make sure and stop in, eat here, check it out. You can spend a couple hours looking at all the memorabilia. I think it's something you'll really enjoy. Give me a call at 602-463-9166 or 928-848-6911 for any real estate information or any information on the town. I'll be glad to help you out with what's going on. I look forward to talking to you. Make sure and subscribe to the YouTube Real Estate Matters video cast. We'll talk to you soon.